Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys five different ways how to buy sneakers with zero dollars. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is identify what you have around you. So what exactly does that mean? Do you have old books, video games, toys, collectible things, clothing, you name it. There's a lot of different items that you may have accrued over the years from different gifts or whatever it may be. You may not see as much value in it anymore, but at the same time, you can still get some cash for it. And there's gonna be some people out there that just literally have nothing around them to sell, and I understand that. That's just one of the options that we're going over in today's video we got four more so don't worry oh yeah and before we take it to the next one for all my adults i know you guys got some stuff accrued that you have over the years is sitting in your garage or in your storage unit or whatever it may be there's a lot of different good options for the adults out there as well so just take some time go through some stuff do a little bit of spring cleaning next thing you know you got a couple extra bucks and now you're buying your favorite pair of jays oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the DNA show. Now this next one is gonna be mainly for my people that are 18 and older, and this one is gonna be a tricky one. You gotta be very, very responsible, but I wanted to put this option out there on the list because realistically, you can definitely make some good moves with this. But again, I'm not a financial advisor. You gotta take these risks on your own. This is just an option. If you have a credit card, go after some of the high heat releases. Whether you may or may not like those releases in particular, you can use that credit card for leverage to then have money. I know, I get it, it's not your cash, but it is at the same time, it'll be debt. We get that, we can talk about that in a whole nother video. Either way, if you go after high heat releases, say for example, you go after the Travis Scotts and the new Off-Whites and, and whatever the new latest greatest collaborations are that are coming out, and you know that, hey, it's gonna resell for 200 extra bucks, 800 extra bucks, and you only enter for those specific type of releases, not saying you're gonna hit all the time. I have tutorial videos on how to get more releases, especially the limit releases. If you guys wanna learn more, we'll talk about that later. But if you do hit on those releases, you now have to take into effect you got 30 days to sell the shoe essentially and that shoe typically is hot in the moment so you need to put it on the market immediately don't go for the top dollar just get the shoe sold make your money pay the card back off take your cash and now you can use that cash to leverage it to then go buy some more sneakers and start building up your collection that way so again it's an easy way to kickstart, but you have to have a lot of discipline and you have to understand you can't keep the shoes. You got to sell them. And don't worry if you do that a couple of times, it'll all pay off in the end. And then you'll be able to go back and get those other shoes that you missed out on or you sold in the past or whatever. Nine times out of 10, all these shoes come around full circle and you got nothing to worry about. You're not really missing out on much. Now, before we take it to the next one, I just wanted to let you guys know I have a full sneakerhead academy that teaches you guys the ins and outs of the shoe game and all the stuff that I've learned over the past 15 years. We do monthly live streams meetups i have challenges inside of the community as well where i give away free shoes literally every single month we have group chats where you guys can access me and my vip members we have a bunch of fun activities as well so if you want to join the community hit the link down below for dj sneakerhead academy i'm definitely excited to see new faces inside of the community and i'm looking forward to helping you guys along the way this video is just a small glimpse of what it looks like on the inside when it comes to tips and tricks but i wanted to make sure i could help you guys as well by making this video so let's take it to the next method i call this providing a service so this could potentially mean cleaning other people's shoes. You can go and say, hey, or post on Instagram or whatever. And you got to kind of practice, you know, get your game up or hit your homies up and say, hey, bro, let me clean your shoes for free and kind of learn and work on it. And then now you have a service and this is a tool that you can now use in the future or even build a business off of it if you really wanted to. But either way, you could provide that service by cleaning people's shoes. Next thing you know, you're making 20 bucks a pair of shoe. Now you're charging 100 bucks a pair. You see some people doing these restorations nowadays for 500 to a thousand dollars for these crazy restorations on like OGs and different samples and stuff. So there's a huge market for that lane, but if you can provide some type of service like that, or potentially even consigning sneakers for people. You can present yourself to one of your friends that's looking to sell shoes and say, hey, I can help you sell your shoes. Let me get a cut, just like a consignment store would. You go out, you do the groundwork, take all that stress off of their shoulders, make life just a little bit easier for them, charge them 10, 15, 20%, depending on if the shoe is new or used or whatever the situation is. And now you're in a situation where it's like, as hard as you work, the deals that you make, you can start basically getting your commissions off of those type of sales and you can start from zero dollars in a situation with both of those type of things and yeah some people say hey you need to get a sneaker cleaner but you could use dish soap and a towel honestly just to get started and then when it comes to reselling sneakers online and stuff all these platforms are basically free now at this point so you don't have really much to worry about that as well so honestly the barrier to entry just on those two different ideas of providing a service zero dollars to get in so i'm excited to see people that 
kind of take advantage of that idea and actually go and execute. And again, we talk about more of that inside of the Sneakerhead Academy. If you have any more questions, I can definitely answer a lot more of them on the inside as well. Now, this next one is kind of going to be along those lines of providing service, but at the end of the day, not everything is just free, right? You gotta put in a little bit of work. You gotta do a little bit of networking. So what can you do in those scenarios? Go to your local sneaker shops, hit up all the shops, build relationships with these people because as you build relationships, you will then eventually start getting discounts and different things like that. But if you got no money, you gotta still figure out how to get the bread. So this is how you could potentially do it. Or you could get free sneakers in these scenarios by talking to the stores and say, hey, I'll clean up the shop, I'll do organization for you guys, whatever, just pay me in shoes. I'll pull up once a week, once a month, whatever you guys need. What do you guys need help with? How can I make you guys' lives easier? So just like everything else in life, stop asking for the free handouts and go out and give something to somebody and show them that you're willing to help them as well compared to just trying to take from them all the time. And when you do those types of things the stores will definitely rock with you because of that and they'll start showing a lot of love and if you want to get paid in sneakers instead of money that's an easy way for you to build your collection with zero dollars and a little bit of effort and now you also have a full network of sneaker heads another place where you can go to get shoes if you miss out on anything and it's going to put you way deeper into the shoe game simply by doing that and honestly out of all these tips that one in particular that's a huge one so if you already got money and you're not worried about that part just go build the relationships with the stores. Trust me, it's gonna help you a lot in the long run. And now last but not least, and again, we have so many things I can go over for you guys, but this one right here, if you get gifts, you got birthday, you got Christmas, maybe some other holiday or something goes along around the year, graduation, you name it. Don't ask for like these random things that you're gonna just, oh, love it in the moment and then you don't like it no more. Get the cash, take the cash, and then go use that and get the pair of shoes that you want and make the smart decision on the pair of sneakers that obviously, yes, buy what you like, but like we always talk about in the academy, be strategic at the same time, because when you buy what you like and you get the shoes that are you know, gonna have that longevity and hold that value, now later down the line, you could still build your collection, use that, leverage it, and now you have money to then go put a down payment on a home or make a wiser investment to put yourself in a whole different situation in life. So always be aware of that when you accept gifts from people. And I know one situation, a lot of people get gift cards, right? And you say, oh, bro, they gave me a gift card, it's 20 bucks or a $50 gift card or a $100 gift card, but it's only to that one specific place tell people say hey find somebody that uses that gift card hey bro i got this gift card it's a hundred dollar gift card i'll sell it to you for 80 bucks you converted that hundred bucks to 80 bucks cash now you use that you go leverage it and get something else that goes up in value and now you got way more value out of it than spending that fifty dollar chili's gift card at the restaurant to get two meals or whatever like you know how you always get those random gift cards so that's just kind of one of the scenarios to think about as well so i hope this video was helpful if you have any other questions hit me down below in the comment section and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel man i'm looking forward to help you with many more videos in the future i'll see you on another one i'm out I would never let you down. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video and you're really considering joining the community, trust me, it's gonna be a great thing on the inside. We got a full eight week program that teaches you all the ins and outs, like I said earlier. So I'm looking forward to having you on the inside. Hit the link down below in the description. I'll see you over there and let's get to it. Let's my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA.